So we just finished doing some wet sanding. I used 600 grit. I've talked to you about that. It's now time to go back to the spray booth, hopefully for the third and final time. This time when I go into the spray booth, you're going to see me thinning back the lacquer. That can cause a problem. You're used to spraying at a certain viscosity. You've probably dialed that technique in by now. Now you're going to water it down a lot and that could cause you to get some runs and some drips. So be very careful if you need to go farther away from the guitar with the spray gun or dial back the product flow out of the tip of the gun. Do whatever it takes. You still want to get wet on wet and overlap 50%, but don't get any runs and drips at this point of the ball game. If not, you got to let them dry, sand them out, come back and respray. So let's go to the spray booth. All right, here we are back in the spray booth for hopefully the third and final day. You're going to see me mix the lacquer. What I like to do is mix it not in the gun, but I'll mix it separate because I'm going to dilute it. I want to stir it up and then pour it into the gun. If you mix it in the actual gun itself, sometimes your first coat will come out very watery or too thick. So I want it all to be consistent. After I mix it and put it in the gun, I'm going to once again dial it in on the side of the spray booth. I'm going to regulate the pressure, how much product's flowing out because it's going to be a lot thinner this time than it was on the previous coats. All right, so here we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just pour a little bit of lacquer into a, another cup. I don't want to do it right in the gun. I'm also going to thin this back. I'm going to go with about a 60-40 ratio, and that's pretty watered back compared to what we were spraying at a full 100%. So it's just regular lacquer thinner. I'm going to come in, just eyeball it, and that's about a 60-40 ratio. I'm going to now stir this up a little bit and then pour that into the gun. Of course, I'm going to filter it as well. So make sure this is mixed well. And now into the gun we go, filtered. The reason for diluting this then is our final coats. We want them to go on as level as possible. We don't want this to go on as glass. That's going to present a challenge to us because we don't want any runs and drips on our final coats. All right, so we're ready to go. Let's regulate the gun.
So here's what our guitar looks like after the third day of spraying. You saw me go into the spray booth. I thinned the lacquer back to about a 60-40 ratio. 60% uh, lacquer and 40% thinner. You saw me spray two heavy coats at about an hour apart, hour and a half maybe. And now the next step is to let it cure. I like to let it cure for about three to four weeks minimum before I come in and level and buff the finish to a high gloss. So with all of the downtime you're going to have over the next three or four weeks, you can do things like clean your shop. You can also plan your next build. Go ahead and order your kit from LMI, get started on the next build, or you can just get some brownie points by checking some things off the honeydew list. At this point, there should be no defects or imperfections in your finish. If you happen to see a place that you missed, perhaps there's a little low area around a binding or a dent or something you didn't catch, fix that problem. Either level it with the CA glue like I showed you, or sand it and go back to the spray booth and spray some more coats, or both. But don't let this thing sit around for three or four weeks with imperfections because when you go to level it and buff it, it's just going to tell on you.